The first time it happened, we managed to pull through. Then it happened again the second time. We knew we had to do something fast before a third time, which is going to be very disastrous. Hi, people. We are currently at Abakaliki. We are going to the immigration office to go and get our passport. Plus, we have to be now for the immigration. We were not going to allow ourselves to be victims of another ASU strike in Nigeria with federal government withholding our only source of income, our salary. <laughs> My husband and I started exploring every possible options we could lay our hands on to achieve our dream of getting the better life we deserve, even if it means relocating from the shores of this country. Our prayers got answered. Thankfully, I got my passport, and now it's time to go for our medicals, the next stage. Good morning, good morning. We are currently at K-Life Medical Center here in Lagos, Ikoi. And I just came out from the waiting room. A lot of people, lots of people are there already. This is just 6.25 a.m. But it is for 8 a.m. Finger crossed, we'll finish in time and then we'll leave Lagos today. We entered inside the reception. We saw people were actually there already. People were many inside. We went back to the car. See where we parked over there. Instead of us to just join the people, I left for us to now come out and ask the security that okay what's the modality do we need since our appointment is for 8 a.m said we were supposed to have picked the form now plenty of people have gone pink form why is this who's trouble they avoid we didn't go out quick to pick form honey i better go come quick no we'll go pick form no we'll no number we'll go falling now once our appointment at eight o'clock maybe they'll go give us number 100 and something i know go agree Okay, so we just finished our medicals now at Kill Life and we are heading to where we packed our car. They said we should come back on Tuesday to come and pick our results. We are coming from Blon. People cannot be considerate. Eh? Honey? I'm just coming out from the Kill Life Medical Center here at Victoria Island. I came to collect our TB test. This is exactly two working days after we did the test. We did the test on Friday and today is Tuesday. Thankfully, we are tuberculosis free. We are only waiting for my husband's NARIC result for us to go ahead and apply for our UK government visa. Hi, honey baby. Honey, you carry on. Kagawi, yes, ma'am. Kagawi, yes. of English language ability in the previous application, yes. In the previous, what do they mean by previous application? It has now, I'm going to give you a minute now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, oh, not this first one. Which one? C1, I can add there. No, it ties is here. Okay, now yeah, select select the yes, select the yes. Ha, we are still in Nigeria. Mommy is editing video, so we already outlined to the UK government's website for our visa. Ready for visa, ready for visa, ready for visa. <laughs> I am here at the India Embassy in Abuja to get the Indian police clearance because I have spent a year in India. My experience at this embassy will be shared in another video. It wasn't pleasant at all. But first, let's just go to the TLS office here in Abuja for my husband's visa appointment. <laughs> Hi viewers, welcome back. I'm currently at the TLS office here in Abuja. So today is my husband's visa appointment and he has gone inside already. Myself and the kids will be coming back on Monday by the grace of God. I couldn't get the India police clearance certificate I went to get at the Indian embassy yesterday. I was told they would give me a call today. So hopefully when they give me a call today, I will get it then book another appointment for myself and the kids and we will get our biometrics done. We left Lagos and came over to Abuja TLS office for so many reasons. Number one, Abuja TLS office is not as rowdy as Lagos. We just couldn't deal with Lagos. And that's a lot of journey we had to make for this trip. But you all know that relocating does not come cheap. I just came out from TLS office. UK. In of uh, data biometrics for UK. So it was faster than I even expected. Actually, I paid for flexi appointments and also paid for premium lounge. So I was given a VIP treatment. I didn't spend up to seven minutes inside and everything was done. You know, I was giving myself a headache, 
printed all the documents and everything, although I had already uploaded my documents before coming. And it was so fast. The person that rented me was like, you can go. I said, have you gone through my document? He said, no, I've seen it. You've uploaded it and everything you uploaded are in order. Go, go. Upstairs. We are going upstairs. Use the staircase. Come here. I got the India PCC and the kids and I are here at the Abuja TLS office for our biometrics. It was so seamless. We did not spend up to 15 minutes. This Abuja TLS office is actually fast and organized. <laughs> After capturing, I paid for her passport to be sent back to a lorry and trust TLS to charge per passport. Anyway, still cheaper and safer than coming to Abuja again. Be careful, cars are passing. Hi viewers, so we just completed our biometrics at the TLS office here in Abuja. We are at the Federal Court of Appeal at the moment. We came to withdraw money because our flight is exactly 5 p.m. back to Lauren from Abuja. So I need some cash. Yay, yeah, they just called me now from DHL office that my passport, my passport has arrived. I'm just about to pick bike because I cannot drive. This bike that will do this now. Let me rush and collect. My husband captured on a Friday and we the following Tuesday. His passport was sent back to us exactly a week after he captured. So naturally I expected ours to be out sharply. Just like his, since our application is linked to his now. But I was delayed till after three weeks. I tracked our application this morning and saw the status had changed. I was overjoyed though and eagerly waiting for the call from DHL. Thank you. When I get back to the shop, I will open it for now. Let me go back to shop. I just got back from DHL office. I went to pick passports for myself and my two kids. Fun fact is, I collected my husband on like two weeks ago, but uh, because I knew I was, was not coming with his, I was so unhappy. I didn't make video when I collected it at all. But see me today, I'm so happy to pick up my camera. I hope you can hear me because I didn't bring my microphone to shop today. Got confirmation that our passport is ready for pickup exactly three weeks after we applied, and DHL has delivered for all three of us that are left. Let's open it together. Hey, I remember when I collected my husband. As I was opening the passport, looking for where they stand, I did not pick up the I was up, I was even getting almost things. But what gave me assurance was the fact that I know that without the this having stamped on it, that passport cannot come. So yes, this is my son soon and then and then and then I know where to look for it because I already have it. Ah, 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 ah. Dependent. Dependent. Oh, shake. One down, two more to go. One down, two more. You better, you better tear yourself. Tear yourself. Hey, even me now. See this live. I don't know that you do before I make content like this. They tear this page. I didn't know. Oh, see my princess. My baby girl, you are about to know what you are about to do. They'll walk her. Hey, two down, one more to go. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Ah, God is great for this life. Nobody needs to learn. No condition they say is permanent. No condition is permanent. So, me and my family, at last, at last, we'll be the ones that we're talking about. We have a young car, what is that? Ah, ah. See, this is my passport is so pretty. The picture they took me that day at the embassy. So I find like this. Hey, fine girl, no pink post. Hey, 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 let me pick up my husband. Let me pick up my husband. He said, what? Thank you, Jesus. 